Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about sprites and resolution in Unity and different programs you can use to achieve the results you're looking for in your solo game project. Okay, over here in GIMP we're going to start a new project, 512 by 512, and create a new layer called Pixels Fine, turn the visibility off of the background, and now we're going to set up a grid here click image and then configure your grid. I'm going to start by making the cells 64 and it's linked here so it'll automatically go to 64 and then to see that grid we have to show the grid. Okay so I have all these little cells uh, this is a sprite sheet basically you can put your sprites in here to animate. Okay, I'm actually going to switch this grid down a little bit, so configure grid. And I want to bring it down to 16 pixels. Okay. Uh, if we scroll out, you see that makes quite a few cells with this size, but... Bring it into here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a Pac-Man type character and have it on two pixels and okay okay I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger since it's 16 pixels, we can go maybe 14, let's go 13 pixels. Okay. So you can see that the pixels are clearly defined and that's the jagged appearance that you get. And even if we um, hold control and scroll out here, you'll see that it's quite pixelated. Okay. And this has to do with the resolution. Now we're really zoomed in here. This is 16 pixels, very, very small. Um, but that's some some games want that look. That's their the look they're going for. So you can actually animate this character. Okay, so make sure your um, hard edge is on here. And I'm just gonna take a big chunk. Hold the shift just like you would if you were to draw a straight line. Okay, there's our chomp. Okay, the only thing I'm going to do now is just add a eye here. I'm not quite sure why I put the third one there, I just needed to show these two, but anyway, here we are. I'm going to export this into Unity, and I'm going to export it as Pac-Man 16 right into the folder of Unity. I've already done it once, and we're going to export it over and jump right over into Unity. So right here in Unity, in the folder as expected, I have this Pac-Man sprite sheet. We're going to open up the sprite editor. And as you can see, the sprites are super small. And we're going to slice this. So when you go to slice this, as I just tried to, and you notice that you cannot slice it because I needed to switch it from single to multiple. And apply. And now these will be multiple. I could slice this by um, automatic will automatically do it. We could do it by cell size and we know our cell size is 16 and we have perfect slices of each one. Okay. Another important point I want to make to you is um, when you import your sprites you want to click point no filter and that will give you the sharp edge of the sprite 
otherwise it'll be uh, quite blurry. So you just want to point no filter. Okay, we'll jump into the scene here. And there he is. There's our Pac-Man guy. He's teensy weensy. Okay, and here's the jump one. Resolution quite pixelated. So. Okay, so we're going to we're actually going to create a new project and we'll make it make it 2048 by 1080 okay create a new layer Pac-Man. Okay. And it looks like a pretty clear circle. If you go way in, obviously you will see the pixels. But being out this far, it's pretty good. Now we're going to export this. And we're going to call this Big Pac-Man. We're going to call this huge Pac-Man. Export. Now we want to do one more thing. We're actually going to want to animate this. So make another one. Then Shift E will click switch to the eraser okay we'll just make this larger Okay, we're going to export this over to Unity real quick. Okay, and let's go over to Unity. Okay, so once again in here, Unity, we have our huge Pac-Man. And we are going to select multiple. Full rect. And our sprite editor. And now here we're just going to slice, try an automatic slice. And that worked. Apply. And now back into our scene. We'll just open up this huge Pac-Man. And there you have it. Slightly jagged still, but much smoother than this guy. So you can see that making your resolution much larger um, with your original drawing is where you get more smooth characters. Now I'm going to make another video using um, Krita and I'm also going to make another video using Blender. So please stick around for those. But I'm going to animate this guy real quick. And so there we have our big Pac-Man chomp. Um, and actually if we play this
Yeah, if we play this, we can see the, the two different Pac-Mans. The little tiny one and the big guy. So please follow me along with the other videos and we'll get to it right away. So we're going to take a quick look at this sprite here. And we can see it is... I also did not uh, click on the point filter, so... That would give it more of a jagged edge there, so that's another little thing you can do. Not much, but it's a little something. Okay, and obviously there's your pixelated guy. So depending on the, the look you're going for with your game, maybe you want a retro looking game, these work very well for retro. Looks good. And then there's that. So if you like this video and the content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And join me in the next video. Have a nice day.